welcome to my sitecore diaries today we are going to talk about buckets in sitecore before starting let me introduce myself i am jitendra khanekar i am a sitecore architect if you have not subscribed to our channel please subscribe to the channel please click on a bell icon to get a latest update so let's start so we are going to see uh, uh today's uh, uh, video what is bucket when to use bucket advantages of item bucket how to create and manage bucket revert and sync in item buckets so let's see what is item buckets large number of items in content tree will decrease the performance of the cms so you have a large number of items in your content tree that will decrease your performance of a cms uh, for that uh, to improve the performance site could provide an option uh, called item bucket okay so what is basically item bucket an item bucket is a container that you can use to hide many items and still easily retrieve and work with these items the only way to find bucket items is to use the site core search engine so basically what happens is item bucket is a container okay it, it, it is a container which ha which stores the item but it hides those items from the uh, user okay uh, uh, you can you can retrieve that items by using the sitecore search engine so when you store an item in an item bucket the parent child relationship in the tree we must be seeing parent and child relationship that gets removed so when we convert it into the item uh, the the item into item bucket it it removes the parent child relationship and it it uh, it instead of that the items are organized in a folder structure according to the date time they were created so what happens is uh, instead of uh, the tree like right structure you will see the uh, uh, the different folders the uh, basic, uh, uh, depending on the date and time okay so uh, where whatever time you have created that item depending on that the date and time kind of a structure will created and the data will store there and there will not be any parent child relationship so that is uh, the item bucket so when to use item bucket so you must be knowing the there is a best practice uh, is that you should have maximum 100 items in your uh, single node item under the node okay so you uh, if you have a uh, more than 100 items it will start giving the bad performance okay so the speed performance will be an issue so if you have such kind of a uh, tree structure okay then it's time to think about a bucket item bucket so you should try to use the item bucket in that case when you will use the item bucket when there is no t structure uh, uh, is not important so like your uh, parent child relationship is not important then you can go for a tree so then you can go for an item bucket so advantage of item bucket so all the contained items in an item buckets are automatically organized in a logical format that increase the performance of the search engine as we mentioned earlier that when you convert an bucket uh, sorry item to a bucket it automatically adjusts organize the uh, the the item into the folder structure depending on the date and time create, uh, create a date and time okay so that structure will increase the performance of the search engine a single item bucket can contain millions of a content item without slowing down the ui or uh, congesting the content tree so what uh, as per the base practice of site code, you can have a maximum 100 uh, items in, within a one node okay so otherwise it will start creating a problem or start giving a performance issue but due to item bucket what happens is you can store millions of items inside a single bucket okay and the, that also in the in the uh, that will automatically arrange it in logical format so there is no congesting the content tree also so that is the second advantage you can has have as a many uh, item in the bucket as you want you can have as many item buckets as you want this lets you split up your item buckets into a logical containers for example one up for a product and one for the article so you can have a multiple item buckets in buckets in your uh, project 
every bucket will uh, store logically different quantity like products you can have a separate bucket articles you can have a separate bucket these are the advantage of our item buckets now how to create item bucket whatever uh, 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 whatever node or a folder you want to make it as a bucket select that and go to the main menu uh, configure and then bucket okay if you click on the bucket do it convert that folder as a bucket okay now next is how to create a bucket uh, i mean how to add that item into the bucket okay so if you add a new item in the node or a folder that you made as a bucket okay like this so it will give you something some error like this unbucketable item or warning like this unbucketable item stored in the item bucket if that item or a template is not a uh, bucketable then this message will be given this item is stored in item bucket however it is not hidden because its template is not bucketable you see here that is not even converted your folder right kind structure also okay if you want to make it as an item bucket you must make the template that based on the bucketable so either you have to make the item bucketable or your template from where it is created that should be bucketable so how to do that this is the uh, warning which we are getting okay so now how we can do this thing first of all uh, you select the templates uh, standard value okay and select the uh, if you select this uh, the uh, standard values of your uh, template then there will be a checkbox called bucketable okay inside a item bucket okay so you check that uh, uh, item so that will make your uh, template okay that will make you a template as a, a bucketable okay now now if you add item in, of the same template time in the bucket you will see a folder kind of structure like this okay if you see here the year month that kind of a structure will created and the article will get added so this is how it will it will be uh, stored in the the article will be stored in the bucket because this article add, uh, template is a made a bucketable okay so there is an insert option for save search so whenever you make the, the bucket there will be an insert option called save search which allows user to quickly find an item in the bucket based on the previous searches okay Now there is another thing which is called as a revert and sync in the item bucket. So if you go to the uh, the menu, you will have these two options. When the item is made bucket, bucket when item bucket is created, then that, that item you will have a revert and sync function uh, functionality available. So what is these features? So revert removes the bucket designation uh, designation from an item and removes all items from the internal bucket data structure. So as name suggests, it reverts the uh, bucket thing. Okay, it it uh, it, uh, it removes all the items from the internal bucket data structure. Sync re-indexes all items under the bucket so it is basically uh, syncing with the indexes okay this is used when a configuration change was made to a bucketed or bucketed on previous search okay so these are the two very important uh, functionality uh, or a feature which is used in the uh, item bucket that is revert and sync any question you can reach to my uh, uh, gmail id or my linkedin id if you like the video, please uh, click on a, a like button. Please share the video uh, with your friends and coll uh, colleagues. Uh, please provide your feedback via comment. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Please click on a bell icon to get a latest update. Thank you. Thanks for watching.